Alright, hey, this is Samansky Arts, and what I'm going to be doing today is kind of like a repair job on the packaging of a pop vinyl. Okay, I've done one before, um, Spider Girl from Walgreens, whatever. Pop vinyl, basically, for you guys that don't know what it is, is basically just one of these toys. Okay, you see them all over the place. Um, I've always wanted this character, um, Joyce, um, from the Stranger Things property, or TV show, I guess I should say. Um, I purposely bought this one because it was broken and it was a lot cheaper than what it would normally be. Um, let me show you where the damage is. It's right up in here. Okay, it's cracked like. Um, forgive me, I don't have my glasses on. I can't really tell if this is focused in right. You see that? It's all messed up. Okay, and if you're like me and you can't stand cracked, broken, damaged um, pop vinyl um, pieces or packaging of pop vinyls, um, this could, um, this is, this is, this is what I'm going to do. I'm just, I'm just going to fix it. Um, cardboard part, I couldn't really fix that if that was busted. Luckily for me, this one was in really good shape. Um, it was basically just the plastic that was messed up. Um, but anyways, that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm going to spin the camera around and we're going to get going on it, but I think that's all I needed to say in the intro. Um, yeah, I've always wanted this character. Okay, yeah, I got that in. Um, I got it at a decent price because it was damaged, and the reason why I bought it was because it was damaged, so I can make a little video. Okay, anything else? Uh, I can't think of anything else. Um, yeah. Okay. Alright, with that, let's get going, alright? Cool. Alright, forgive me for using this drapery, but my table is a little messy, and I don't really feel like cleaning it. don't have the time, so I just thought I'd drape over it with this little sheet thing, so... It's a nice color, so whatever. Okay, anyways, so the first thing we got to do is we got to get this girl out of here. All right? And um, I usually don't take them out, so I don't have a lot of experience with taking them out. But the little experience that I do have, they come out pretty, not too bad. Not too bad. Well, we'll see about this one. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. When she gets going, she's cool. All right, cool. Set her aside. And then we'll start doing the first uh, semi-tricky part. This really isn't isn't too bad for the most part. You just get a... I usually just use a razor blade. And we just kind of... Kind of separate the, the plastic there from the cardboard. And then you just kind of work it. And actually, once you've made a... You can actually literally, literally just pull it, and it'll, it'll come out. All right, cool. Looks like it's coming out pretty good. I don't really care about the plastic part getting damaged. I don't. I just don't want the cardboard getting damaged. So, I think I'll push from the outside. There we go. That worked out a little bit better. So you basically just stay out, work around it. There you go. All right, this one looks like it's working out pretty good. Kind of like the. Um, the other one I did. Whoops. Okay. All right. Groovy. Ah. Okay. Awesome. Just pull her out of there. Okay. Don't really care about this stuff because we're we're not going to need this anymore. All right. Um. Now let me go get um. Oh, one of these guys. Whoops. These are. Basically, those replacement pieces, or those, um, the pieces that you, um, the protectors you actually put over the, um, the uh, vinyl, or over the, over the packaging. What we're all, all we're going to do is we're just going to cut this, cut this up, <clears throat> like I did before. Let me, like, stop this camera, fix this thing before I get angry. Um, yeah. Because what we're gonna do, see this one. This one's one I I I like these, but I've never really, I never originally got these. But what they do is they some some companies they put this plastic protective like little sheeny or um, I don't know what you call it, um, like a like a thin layer of plastic to protect the um, protect the protector itself. So you just peels off all right anyways let me I need to go get a marker I kind of wasn't prepared that well with this one 
like I was with the first one I did. So let me uh, get this plastic off of here, put that aside, and then we'll put him over here for now. And then, um, but let me get my other materials, which is basically, or which are basically a scissors and a marker. Okay. Anyways, like I said, I wasn't quite prepared. I didn't think this through good enough. So let me go grab myself a marker and then get my scissors out of the drawer or out of my closet. And then we'll cut this guy into play, into, into, into size, into size, and then get it going. All right, cool. Like I said, let me stop the camera here for a minute and come right back. All right, cool. All right, here we go. I'm back. Got my Sharpie. I'm going to kick myself in the head because I was going to buy a thin Sharpie today while I was out running around and I bloody forgot. But whatever, not a big deal. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is take the... Um, Oops, the original one, okay, that actually goes in there, and we're just going to, like, place it over over the um, replacement plastic, okay, and then all we do is we just take a, um, a marker and we uh, mark where we want it to be. Did I do this like this last time? Hmm. Yeah. Anyways, okay. This is going to take... I'm gonna bend this. All right, all right, cool, whatever. All right, we will go with this, okay, like so. Whoops, whoops, oh, I'm on the wrong one. All right, just trace this sucker. I'm gonna go up a little bit higher, okay? And then we just flip it on the side here, and we go over here, do the same thing, go up a little bit higher, okay? And then all we're gonna have to do is Cut this out, and we'll be good to go. All right, let me think here. Now when I cut it, okay, it's, it's deep enough. All right, that's basically all we do. Let me cut this off. This is going to cause me some troubles. All right. All right, cool. Um, I guess I don't really need to show you this part, so I'll just cut this little strip here. Stop the camera, cut the rest of it on my by myself, and then we'll come back. All right, cool. Be right back. Okay, now that I've got my piece cut, um, the uh, extra one, I'll actually save this one in case I need to do another one. So you can get, I think, two repairs out of one um, protective whatever. Now I made it a little bit larger. Um, just in case I messed up. So we're just gonna slide that in there, like so. Good fit, looks nice. Um, looking on the inside, yep, I'm gonna have to cut a little bit on the top here, which is no big deal. All right, so I'll do that, and then we'll be, we'll be ready to you know tape it into place. All right, cool, I'll be back in a minute. Or a second. Okay. Whatever. Okay, another reason why you go a little bit bigger so that you can cut out the um, your marker marks because um, even though it's going to be on the inside, you'll still be able to see those marks um, as you look inside the um, thing from the outside as you view it. You can still see the, um, the marker markings. Anyways, whatever. Okay, let's get her into place and then taper and then the difficult part will be over. Okay, basically all you're doing is taking some clear tape, like so, and just taping the edges. So, all right, tricky part here is trying not to like mess up the cardboard. Okay, cool, all right, all right, there we go. Now it should be good to go. All right, cool. First part done, all right. Okay, I wanna make sure I have these flush so they don't separate, kind of like. Because when you look at it, you wanna make sure that it's um, this area in here. Nope, this area in here is tight, okay? So up on top, it's gonna, it's gonna get tight once I 
start taping more areas. Okay, let me think, where's the next spot? I will probably tape, okay, right about there. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's flush. All right. Uh, the pain in the neck. Okay, cool. All right. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna work my way around it, and we're gonna we're gonna finish up. All right, cool. Okay, all right. Now that I've got it taped into place, um, that's the hard part. Um, next part is in slipping her slipping her back in there, and um, and then putting the uh, the uh, logo on there. Okay, let me go get my. Where's she at? There she is. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little sick. Um, right now, I'm just gonna make sure that I don't have any fuzzies floating around in there. All right. Looks pretty good, I guess. Okay. Okay. Whoops. Oh, there's some residue oh, on the outside. All right. Whatever. Anyways. Okay. Let's slip her back in. All right. She should go in pretty okay. Um, I just got to get her over the tape areas. Ugh. Oh, nerve wracking. Okay. Okay. Good there. Good there. Okay. Flip her around. Boom. 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 All right. Groovy. Okay. Cool. Okay. Give you a little bit of a close up. I'll give you a close up a little bit better later on. Um, but right now, what we're going to do is we're going to get that sticker. Get that all-important target sticker on there. This, this, this is kind of like the easier part. Basically, all you're doing is cutting it out. First off, I'm going to cut around it. Okay. I'm going to take my glasses off so I can see better. <sighs> and then all we're going to do is basically just cut around it, really. And it's really not that bad. Okay. You got a good guideline, you just follow it, and there you go. Um, yeah, after I cut this, okay, oops. Okay, after I cut this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop the camera here and concentrate on this a little bit better because I have to do the, gotta do the circle corner part here really good. Okay, um, yeah, after I do that, er, well, okay. Anyways, whatever. Let me cut this better. And then I'll come back and I'll show you how I get that back on there. All right, cool. All right, we're back. Okay, now that I got the logo cut out, I basically take this stuff. It's like a two-sided permanent tape or whatever. Um, and I just put this down on the thing there. And I can't remember which way it goes. I think it's, I think it's like this. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Just roll that on there. Nope, oh, it's already getting sticky. Oop. Oh. All right, now we got like so, and we just put it, put it in the spot where we want it. Let me put this down so I don't screw this up. All right, cool. And then just press, and then boom, we're done. Okay, cool. Now the piece looks great. Okay, okay. Let me stop the camera, give a better close up, and um, and then I'll let you giggle. I'll let you go. All right, cool. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, fixed. Look at that shiny new plastic piece. Looks great. Um, one side thing I'd like to address is the... See, I was talking earlier in the video how I would like to have that more flush. Um, I think the next time I try one of these, if I have this type of issue, um, I think maybe I'll just try and do the um, this onto the plastic and then press it onto the, um, the cardboard. But over here, it's it's smooth. That one looks pretty good. Over here, there's a little bit of a gap. Um, down here, this actually looks pretty clean. Right here and then along the edges look pretty clean as well. Um, but like I said, um, that's that. Um, you can see the logo looks pretty good. Okay, cool. Anyways, I know that's not the most exciting, or this isn't the most exciting style and or type of video. But um, I do appreciate you checking this out. Okay, and uh, if you'd like to leave a comment down below, that's cool. If not, that's cool as well. Um, but that's that, okay? And until the next time, all right?
again. Thanks. Awesome.